Hello, and welcome back to Darksiders 3, where we are in cleanup mode to a certain extent. Uh, this isn't actually what I wanted. Oh, yes! The, uh, I don't know whether the shield that you get from the stasis hollow absorbs a particular amount of damage or whether it's just lasts a particular amount of time or whether it lasts a particular amount of time but can only absorb a certain amount of damage or what. That is probably something that somebody else will probably already have checked, if I'm honest. Oops. Right, this area here, we've only really been to once or twice. You can throw a knife at me, boy. Yeah, you are. And you're gonna suffer. Ooh. Suffer, boy. Actually, this is taking us down to the cathedral, isn't it? Ha-ha! <laughs> Sucker. Ah! There was a thing you wore here. Let's get you out of the way first. I remember the dev saying in a live stream that... Oh! Human! Um, community outreach. Is that 15? 15. Right, let's head back to uh, to Vulgrim? No. To Ulthane uh, and see what he has got for us. Going in there in a second. Your invisibility skills need work, boys. Um, I don't actually think there was anything else over there. Because we clip cleared that area out. Bug boy! Still quite tricky to get the timings on that. Uh, now I can't remember which of these are going to blow up. This was the... Where did this go? Oh yeah, there was a, there was a thing through here. I can't remember what it was, but I think we came to the realization that there wasn't anything else in there, and we got to it using the the purple bug bomb. Which is why he's up there. Up here. There, in fact. Can't remember whether any of these jump out at us. Oops, Jesus. That one does. And that one does. Small lurcher cluster. Um, is this on the way down to Sloth? I can't remember. No, this is the way to the cathedral. Yes. We haven't been here in a while. And I don't know whether we can go and fight Pride now or what. But first, anyway, let's head to Ulthane and see Bleeding. 
Please take your time. Oops. See what we can get from him for having collected 15 humans. Saved is probably a better word. Saved 15 humans, not collected them. Just put them in our back pockets. Uh, so, so far, we get 10% lurchers while killing an enemy and 20% wrath every time we get wrath. I'm assuming there's a third and a fourth upgrade for this. It's a bold assumption. But it would make sense. Uh, you truly ah. a marvel, lass. I cannot thank you enough. You may very well have saved humanity. As thanks, I can give you more power in that bobble. By his mercy. You mean to lay down a mighty heart, Tarry? Uh, yes! But now, oh, so that's a plus nine lance. Excellent. So I need some more slivers. Uh, how many do I need? So... Four... Right, six to get that to plus three. Get that to plus six. So we need pieces to level that up. So we need four, ten, twenty... 26. 26 slivers we need. Right, so what's what's he given us for that? 30% health? Okay then. So we've now got 717 health. So we really are uh, kind of tanking up a bit. And there's only five, I believe, more... I was going to say horsemen to save? No. Five more... Thingies. What would you ask of this humble? Please take your time. Humans. Humans is the word I'm after. Can't remember the name of my own species. Right. I am going to go and see whether. Because I feel like it's been a while since we've uh, had to go to boss. So let's see whether we can fight Pride yet. I think probably not. I think we have to face Wrath first. Because otherwise... Otherwise she'd be on the screen here. I admire your confidence, but you are not ready yeah. to I think Pride is going to be the final sin that we have to defeat. That seems to be the way... Jeez, that's bright. Um, that seems to be the way that we're going. Um, you know, uh, there, there are a couple of sins, two or three sins, active at any time by the look of it. But I think um, Pride is going to be our kind of end goal. Uh, I think we've got everything from here. got everything from over here certainly I, I really like the kind of red diffuse glow of this it very much reminds me of actually I can't remember which game it was that this reminds me of was it Lords of Shadow 2 with the, the bright red cathedral. I think it was, actually, yeah. Lords of Shadow 2 with the, the kind of church with the lovely red glow in it. Right. Ah, was there a... Right, that takes us down to the room with the... the, the skeleton and arches in. Was there a Chosen around here? A lot of uh, texture seems. Mm. 
No pots. No. Um. Don't know what was round there. Hi. Oh no! Skeletons. Oop. I'm wondering, actually, if they've changed the timings of other things in the game. Right, this is where the skeletons were. Skeleton archers. Now. Nice! Oh, you didn't die. So I think if I press the button Shot at the air. Ooh, hello. Da. Right, you're dead. You're not dead. Oops. Fail. It's the first time I've had to use a Nephilim's respite in ages. <gasps> Pot. Yeah, that's shot. Cheers, mate. Cheers, love. The cavalry's here. Uh, right, this was the the shortcut hole that took us back down to the depths. I remember that because we didn't unlock that too long ago. And that's the lever there. So, I wonder if there's a way to get the chosen marked on your map. This took us to where? Oh, yeah. This is the... Uh, the way over to the Angel Outpost, isn't it? Whee! Right, I assume we've been here, but there is a thing on the ceiling. See, I knew, I knew there'd be something to do with uh, these things. I said that way back at the start. Right, does that just give us a... Yeah, that just gave us a shortcut up to there. Loop. That's poison ick. Worth noting that we do not have any method of dealing with poison ick. I think poison ick is our. It's going to be the bane of our lives regardless. Right, is this what took us to the Bonelands? Uh. <gasps> Flumph! Flumph! You know, I. I... I couldn't remember it before, but I really can't remember what their actual name is. Good job they're fireproof, really. There's something else in here that we couldn't get to or missed before. It doesn't look like it. Uh. Oh, yes. Crabs. Squishy! Right, yeah, we went and found... Oh no, we didn't find our way around there. And also, while we're here... In fact, was it because we didn't have the Force Hollow that we didn't find our way around here? Was it a Force Wall that was blocked? Yes, it was. Smash! Demon artifacts. 
I'm wondering how many of each we've had now. Because I believe there are 50. Which I'm assuming is enough for all the, all the enhancements. A bold assumption, to be sure. What's that? What is that? Oh! It's a guy! Ow. Ow. Ha! Sit down! I saw it glowing slightly and thought, what on earth? Um, and now we know. It's down here. Explore the... It's quiet. No enemies. Oh! That's our entrance to the Bonelands. Right, this of course is where the frame rate says, ha ha ha, screw you. Uh, usually. Greet it. This will be fun as you wish. Take your time. Yeah, we've got 23 demon artifacts just stored up. As you wish. Oh, well, we've got some soul clusters already. Tong, tong. Large lurcher cluster. Great. Oh, this will be fun for both of us. No, we can keep on going, apparently. As you wish. So 50 Farewell. is not the level cap. Interesting. In that case, I wonder oh, what is. I wonder if there is one. Or maybe they've gone the Souls route and it's... 100? 99? Was it? Well, no. I mean, technically, Souls doesn't have a cap either, really. Oh. Oh. You didn't die. Hi. Yeah, they've they've definitely um, fixed the dodge timings for the better. It feels so much smoother. I think what they've probably done is taken the balanced dodge timings and applied them to the latter. So if you start on balanced, are you normal? Which is what I think a lot of people would probably have done. Um, Oh, that... Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll finish that thought now. So if you start on balance, then you can learn the dodge timings for things. Um, and then when you get to the harder difficulties, it doesn't feel so uh, unnatural. There's a thing up here. Couldn't get to here before. Hidden things. Human? Can't hear any whimpering. Ugh. Uh. Ha! Destroyed. Um... Are we making our way? Ugh. Oh, it's this room. I remember this room. 
I remember not being able to hit that blooming hive over there. Now, I like the fact that you land on the ice as well. Some games, if you've got a walk on water ability. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, this takes us down towards um, the, the other side there. This takes us down below. Um. So did that just take us around in a loop? Was it the same bugs that I could see that I blew up? No, that... I can jump up there. Yeah, so that that's just a, an extra little bit. Unless, no. Uh, right, in that case, back down we go. Right, so, Bonelands, there's some purple over there. Let's just go and smash our way through that. Actually, while I think about it, wasn't there in here a hole in the floor? Yes, there was. Also, was this. Small lurker cache. Oh, but I think we found our way through that hole. So that begs the question, what's this for? That just a sh that is, well, just a shortcut. Is that a shortcut? Oh, no. Another lurky cash. Dead angel. Dead angel. Yeah, that, I mean, that is technically a shortcut through, but where's it a shortcut to? Oh! Kraken Room! Oh, you! Yeah, I can actually dodge this guy and, and not get too shot by him, which is nice. Please. Do it. Stop blocking and fight back. Oh shit! One at a time! You know, not an issue. Actually, to be fair, two at a time, not all that much of an issue either. Right. get up there earlier i can't remember right so yes this is that's the way down into the depths there oh dear lord my frame rate there's just something about the water that seems to cause real problems right while we're in this area we're going to have to... Um, what was it? Was it the effects? The 
that we needed to turn down. I, I think it's not so much the water, it's maybe all the fog that causes the problems. Right, this was... Yeah, that's the lust fight. This is where we fought lust. So we don't really need to be here because we've done everything there. But if we go the other way... Who here was it? Yeah. Ow! I hear a thing. See, what I really don't want to do is put the shadows down to low, because that looked rubbish. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of texture seams struggling in this area. Oh, hi! Oh, jeez! No. Oh. Nice. So there are still challenging fights. Ah. <laughs> Very dark down here. Though. Very dark. Very, very dark. If I just gone round in a loop. I feel like I've gone round in a loop. Have I? Have I not? I don't know. Something's very noisy, boy. Oh, yeah. I remember that puzzle up there. That was the... Uh... Take it! Oh yeah, this was the summoner guy. Which I, I kind of ran through this area because we were getting a billion enemies summoned on top of us. And what we actually wanted to do, I think, was... Was it up here? Yeah. Uh... We never really explored properly. Actually, we might not have come up there here at all. There's an awful lot of things left sitting around. Uh. No, we've done this corridor, haven't we? Or have we? Ah, oh, now I'm getting confused. Yeah, we have. Yeah, so there's stuff up there. How? Ow! Whoa! He's summoned a lot of friends. Fortunately, they're all very weak. 
How do we get up to you? Ah! Round here? Aha! Uh, didn't I already you? Shadows of Yarnum. Right. So that's how we got to here. Okay. Doesn't actually help us make any uh, further progress. But at the end of the day, this episode is devoted to the exploration and finding of things. Vulgrim. Uh, oh yes, this was the freeway. And I think I'd made sure I got everything, everything down here. Is that a thing that I didn't get? Yeah, because that's the big... Ooh, hello. Oh, bulls! Oh, shoot! Ow! Nope! Go play in the lava. Lava? Poison. Whatever it is. Right. Yeah, so I remember coming over here. Did he just jump up? Yeah, he did. He jumped on top of the bus to get out of the way. Clever girl. Nothing under there. Yeah, so this is the uh, the big magnetic wall, and there was a red eye demon here. This this is after. Ooh, we're right next to you, Seal. You Seal, or however you pronounce his name. Maybe we should go and talk to him. Also. Has there always been a Vulgrim thing there? Can't get up there. Is that dropping down from Uceal's place? I think it might be. Yeah, I think it is. So I think we may have to... Go round. That's fine, because we haven't been round this area in ages. I mean, we did spend a long time here. Because I couldn't use my brain. Right, that now. Oops. Suck it. Um, oh, dear lord. A little bit of wonky collision detection there. Right, that was the griffin. Oh, I know what we haven't done. Just before we go and talk to you, Seal, uh, through here, there were a couple of magnetic walls that we couldn't do anything with. Are you going to fly away? Yes. Up. 
Yeah, we couldn't get to these before. What's actually up here? Just an artifact? Yeah. Yes. So that allows us to get through there, finally. Can't remember if there was another thing. Or was it just that one? I think it may have been just that one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Right. Let's go and see if you seal has anything to say. Let's do that. With the right hollow on. What? Let's just hope he doesn't throw another angelic champion at us. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's the guard. No help from a feeble, horse. feeble? If you betray Usil, we will not hesitate to strike you down. Yeah, I think I'm uh, beyond you now. I'm sorry, angels, but all your pallets. that white light? Oh, it's a candle. Of course it is. Of course it is! Right, does he have anything to say? Where is he? There he is. Awesome. Aye, Angel. Are your wits cleared? Yes. Though I am ashamed to admit that bastard clouded my mind to begin with. General of Heaven. Oh, what a sick joke. Thank you for setting me free. Lust is... was a <laughs> powerful force. Aye. But only because I supplied them with fuel. Sorrow makes an easy target. Doesn't it just... the ah, riddle of sorrows? My garrisons could again soar the skies. Strong and alive. We have all yearned for lost glory, Usil. Let it go. No. Not until I've paid off my debt to you, horseman. My life, my sword, and my soul are yours. Thank you, Lucille. For a bird, you're <laughs> quite honorable. Fury, when you find the rest, however many of the seven remain, make it hurt. Oh, I that is a promise I'm happy to keep, Angel. Oh! I was wrong there are more than six enhancements and this the fafnir enhancement is the one that was mentioned in the patch notes that i said was a little bit of a spoiler a couple of episodes ago uh so you can only get that in that case if you don't kill you seal in the lust fight so the question is what does it do It does thorns damage. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five. Six. So there's space for seven of them just. Plus damage with this soul, with this weapon, for every 3,000 souls carried. That's, that's not a lot, but the melee damage reflected back is... Which has got... Because I, I want the, uh, the the damage reflection. I I, I don't really care about the, the damage uh, for every 3,000 souls collected. I wonder what that... Uh... Awesome. Yes. Well, that was definitely worth uh, coming back and saying hi to him for... Little bit of extra So, is there anybody else? I wonder
I wonder if I can go back to a Braxis. I wonder if I can go back to a Braxis and get something Greeting. for take my efforts. Time. As you wish, please take your time. If I can even remember how to find him. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. So, yeah, because if there's an if if a Braxis has got one as well, that would be interesting. But a Braxis might only give us something if we've killed the Lord of Hollows. We shall go and see, and we shall go and see next next time thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed this episode and my general meandering around definitely worth that uh, that last five minutes now that was uh, good to see again little bits of story drip fed us throughout the game is how i prefer it rather than big cutscene after big cutscene after big cutscene uh, thanks very much for watching catch you in the next one thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Remember to ring the bell to be notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.